Hello, hey, hi, once again, it's Lance Bernard from the Home Homeland Homeland Security <laughs> Haphazard Productions and Homeland Security as well, if you want to think that way. Uh, I am credentialed and uh, show my credentials and use that to uh, get weed to, out to people. <clears throat> I hope you don't mind my telling the truth. So, what's going on now? I'm still recovering from aphasia, which is a, a condition that happens when you have a stroke. What happened was this part of my brain got shut down, and I got a stint put in to open up my brain back here. Fortunately, I'm recovering, miraculously covering uh, quickly. It was uh, November 13th I had my uh, surgery. And, uh, oh man, there is so much going on. The muzzles that everyone's wearing. From now on, go into a store with your little mask and say, Aren't, isn't it curious that none of the dogs wear muzzles, but we do? The dogs don't wear muzzles, but we all wear muzzles. It's a muzzle, guys. And um, when FEMA uh, took over the presidential powers by Trump... Um, I guess it was about four months ago, that activated my certification of, uh, from the Department of Homeland Security. I always wondered why in the hell would they give me a certificate that was toilet paper until I had a national emergency, national emergency during my lifetime. And I guess I figured it out. Um, and when you're here and you're not getting a paycheck from the government, which I never have done, all they've done is rape me all my life. But um, as a matter of fact, my Social Security just got raped another 250 a month, 250 a month, for no uh, apparent reason. Just take my money away, you rampant rapists. And they are a bunch of rapists, and you know that. And so people are wearing muzzles happily, happily wearing a muzzle, going sw swimming with a muzzle on. Um going down their bicycles down the street with their muzzles on because they're afraid that cloud of COVID is going to hit you. Oh, here comes a cloud of COVID. I can see the COVID on him. Ooh, he's nasty. Oh, did you sneeze? We're going to die. You're going to die. You're all going to die. The roads are littered with bodies. You know, that's not true. You know, this is not true. All of this crap. Uh, when FEMA was signed over by uh, Do Donald Trump, that FEMA has taken over the United States, basically. A guy named Peter Gaynor runs America right now. Guys, you don't know that. You haven't seen that. If you have seen that, um, post it. Because I have found it in a few times. I think I did share it l later on when it happened. Um, it didn't seem like that big of a deal to me then. But it is a big deal, guys. When you look at what FEMA can do, uh, they can take these people on that side of the street and say, your money is worthless. And the people on this side of the street, the money's fine. But those people over there, their money is worthless. They can do that, guys. They can tell, they can displace people. They, they can tell an entire state that they have to move to a different state. And they and they use the National Guard to do it. Or other means, I'm not sure what means. You have to look at the UN for that. The UN. Right. They're police a force that is being building and born and put together more and more. So this is not about fear mongering. This is about realities that we are living in today, in these times. And whether or not I just have a stroke and am muddling my way through my words, c'est la vie mon ami, because I love you, mon frère, and I want to take care of the ins informations that I can give you um, so that you can con you know, pass that on to people. Be more intelligent. Be more at peace in the world. Uh, because knowledge is power. But only if you apply it. Right? So, I'm in Florida. Newport Ritchie, uh, Florida. As a matter of fact, 5141 Beams Court. B-E-H-M-S. Court. If you want to stop by, say hi, just swing in. I, I'm cool. I'm cool with that. I'm creating all sorts of neat stuff in my uh, in my works. Uh, here, as a matter of fact, let me pop out here. My hip is pretty screwed up, but I'm going to take a, a little trip here and show you what I have been working on lately. Four years ago, I created this piece that's over 100 years old. It got smashed into pieces, and then I glued it together, fixed it up, made a mold out of it, and... Uh, am creating this piece. 
I hope you like it. It's something that is very close to my heart. Whether or not you believe in the perceptions of the details, here you go. Now this is a mold, this is a rubber mold right here. And this rubber mold has, has pieces that fit into, there's, there's one that's actually made down here that I poured to show you what it actually is. And it's a hundred years old. And that's what I am creating now. Uh, yeah, a lot of work. A lot of work, and I paint. I do paintings, I do sculptures. I fix things and I fix peoples. Here's one of my pieces. My son and his girlfriend. Another one of a friend and his puppy dog. Sammy and Abe. Abe and Sammy. And I have a variety of pieces that I create uh, while I'm recovering from having a stroke. So now you know the rest of the show, of the, of the details. You know this, what's going on in America right now? You know, my Biden is uh, paid for. Bought and paid for. And when FEMA took over from pre the president, uh, Donald Trump, uh, Peter Gaynor, the guy that runs America right now, uh, made a little slip and he said this is an exercise this is a live exercise in this live exercise hmm exercise I thought it was a pandemic hmm my mistake yeah it's paid and paid and bought by the people that print money they're messing with the whole world and in some places They'll kill you for not for saying what I've said just now. They'll put you in prison. Why would did they do that? Mm -hmm. And even if you get the COVID, which you can get over and over and over and over and over, it's a 99.9% .9 survival. Huh. But we're going to lock it down, and we're going to screw up economies, and we're going to have your muzzles on wherever you go. That's pathetic, guys. But rather than just bitch about it, let's just get smart about it. Let people know that they're on a muzzle and their puppy dog isn't. And uh, make a little bit of a joke of it, because it is, in my humble opinion, and they're putting nanos in you. Some people can't keep their job unless they get injected. Huh. Well, I thought it takes five years to get a va vaccine. Vac well, you get the idea. To develop something to kill that virus takes five years. Not, oh, done in a week, let's go. It's got nanos in it, little computers. They're still experimenting with people. This is a live ex exercise. And there's no doubt about that, guys. So, uh, as usual, uh, it, to keep taking too long to a load, I will give you a do and say that my aphasia is... I'm working on it. I'm talking to a lot of people. I'm uh, thinking of flying out to Minnesota and taking care of some business out there, about $400,000 worth of businesses, and uh, helping other people and helping myself finally, and uh, getting some better, you know, recording equipment rather than this piece of crap car. But in the meantime, like, comment, and subscribe, and realize that I'm out here for the people. I'm going to expose whatever I can, whenever I can, to, uh, to uh, let you know and to rise above this insanity of government that we are living in right now. So, love ya! And I hope to talk to you guys real soon in comments. I know I haven't been there for a little bit, but as I mentioned, I'm in Florida recovering. But still, I put out this production, and I'll put out more as things happen. As things come to mind. I could while away the hours, conversing with the flowers, and talking to the rain. Ba -dum, ba -da -ba -da -dum. I could while with the whistle, I could whistle with the whistle, if I only had a brain. <laughs> Working on it, guys. Love you. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Spread the word.